Because I'm very sure some of us, things that we don't even like, when some people see it, they are even wishing to have that kind of a thing. But as a human being, because of the way God created us, we are always one thing, one thing or the other. Some people will be saying, oh, I don't, I don't like this, my, this coat. I think I need another one. Whereas, somebody is looking at the coat and will be saying, oh, I wish I have that coat. So as a human being, there is something that we always want. But my prayer is that anything that has not allowed us to receive the promise of God for our lives, any barrier, may those barriers be finally removed tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. May they give way finally tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brethren, this world is cruel. It is. And there are so, so many challenges of life. And like I said, I'm very sure if I ask us to take a piece of paper and a pen and start and write what we want, many of us will have a lot of things to write. I swear, Ali, there might be something you want to write that said that, that you want God to say, God, please, I want you to keep this thing in my life. Don't let it go away. Then there will be something you say that this ones, I don't want them. So if I ask us to take a pen and write, I know we'll have something to write. But I just want us to understand that the fact that you have something to write that you want God to take away from your life, that doesn't mean your sin is too much. That doesn't mean maybe because your sin is more than that of your neighbor. No, don't look at it from that angle. Because even in the Bible, we have so many people that we can make uh, references to that also have problems, that also have challenges. But God took them out of those challenges because they key into the promises of God. May the Lord help us and give us that grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. For examples, I'm going to give us some examples. We might not be able to read them all because of our time because we are here to pray. But the reason for all this, we, want, we just want to wear the ground. We want us to understand what we are saying when we talk about God saying it and God doing it. For instance, in the life of Abraham, if you look at Genesis chapter 15, from verse 1 to 3, Abraham is the father of faith. After this thing, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your exceeding great reward. Verse 2. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me, saying, I go shideless, and the hair of my house is a laser of Damascus. If you know the story of Abraham, you know God actually called him his friend. He's the friend of God. Despite that, he was barren with a wife for over 25 years. It goes to the extent that he was frustrated to the extent that he was given some recommendation by his wife. Why don't we take the, our house help? He has to listen to that. It got to that level. So what is it in our life? That is boring us today that we know this is a challenge. There is nothing God cannot do. Remember, God has promised Abraham that through him, the entire world will be blessed. And now, God said he's going to give you seeds, he's going to multiply you, he's going to do this, do that. But at the same time, you are barren for 25 years. As a woman, you'll be wondering, is this going to manifest? So, that's why I said we need that grace. To be able to be patient to be able to key ourselves into the promises of God. Because whatever he says, he will do. So the important thing for us also is for us to know where that promise is said by God in the Bible. That is why I said when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you have to be studying the Bible constantly so that you will know what God says concerning your situation. And you will quote that, and he is the God that respects the word even more than his name. Whatever he says, he will do it. God will meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another example. In 2 Kings chapter 5, let's go to verse 1. Now, Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, look at the credentials. He was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master because by him the Lord has given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor. There is a but in his life, a leper. So that's why all the credentials, you see, have that but in his life. So I'm saying you, I'm letting you know that I know it's not easy. 
like daddy would say, he who feels it knows it. But at the same time, if you have Jesus Christ in your life, that makes the difference between you and somebody in the world that doesn't know Christ, that is overwhelmed by his or her own problem. But we, as believers in Christ, as a child of God, as a believer in Jesus Christ, that are constantly coming to church, study the word of God, and anything that we don't want in our life, we have that faith that because God has said he will do it, he will actually do it. That grace that we need, I repeat that prayer again. May the Lord grant to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Luke chapter 8, verse 41 to verse 45, it was about Jairus' daughter, 12 year old, that was sick. And Jairus was asking Jesus to come and heal his daughter. But do you know, at, at the, around that time, when Jesus Christ was going, there was another woman. This woman has issue of blood for 12 years. She has been in pain. She has been in pain. She has been visiting doctors. She didn't receive healing. There was no solution to her problem. So there are two things on ground for Jesus Christ to do at the same time. And you know, he's God everywhere. He's everywhere. He's omnipotent. His omnipresence is everywhere. And so he met this woman who was having this pain. For over two years and uh, twelve years, I'm not praying that your problem, my problem, should stay with us for twelve years. But what I'm saying is that no matter the length of time, kill yourself into Jesus Christ. Kill, I mean, kill yourself into the the promises of God because I know whatever He says, He will do it. Remember when uh, the first miracle that was performed by Jesus Christ. What did Mary tell the people that were supposed to bring water for wine, to be converted to wine? She told them, whatever he asks you to do, do it. So, brethren, the grace to remain in him and not shave, and not look back, not look left or right, stay focused in Jesus Christ. May the Lord grant us that grace in the name of Jesus. Man. Because I can see Everything is going to turn around for our good in the name Amen. of Jesus. And in the book of Job, Job 1 and Job 2, uh, if we look at Job 1 from 13 to 22, Job was described as the richest man in the East at that time. He was wealthy. He was a lover of God. He feared God. And you will not believe that in one day, he lost everything. And of, of in fact, when the last sad news was going to be delivered to him, at that particular moment, you will, you will assume that maybe it's going to cause God. But no, the Bible recorded that he bowed himself to the ground and worshipped God. He bowed down and worshipped God. Despite that, he has lost everything. And even at that moment, the only thing that was left for Job was his wife, his relationship with God and his health. Which means, despite all odds, Job stayed with God. Brethren, I pray for us. Any problem that will come to our life, that will make us deny God, it will not happen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Job 42, verse 10, I love what God did over there, because he got to a stage in Job 2, 7-9, even the health that remained with Job was also tampered with. He has boys all over. So they said that people were just looking at him. They would see him and pass. Some of them were even telling you, better cause God. That what, which one are you doing? But he remained, no. He said, no. He see God. He remained with him. But in Job 42 verse 10, a statement was made there. And I pray, I prophesy to each one of us tonight. Then that Job 42.10 will be our prophecy for tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because everything that the devil has stolen from us, they will be restored in multiple fold in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, remember, the Bible also says, when the Lord returned the capt restored the captivity of Zion, we were like they that dream. The way God is going to turn around our life tonight it's going to be like if we are dreaming in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said the way God will settle you, the way God will give you your own children, 
the way God will make peace to reign in your home, the way God will meet your financial needs, the way God will do every good thing that you want in your life, it will be like you are dreaming as from tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, God is a mighty God. And he's always committed to whatever he said he would do. He does only what, it's not, it's not only what we pray for. It's not only what we desire. But whatever God wants to do in accordance to what he said, he always do it. So, anytime you want something from God, just look for his word. Back it up and stay on it. Stay on it. Don't look anywhere. In Genesis 21 verse 1, God did not just visit Sarah. Let's put Genesis 1, Genesis 21, 1. Let's read it. Genesis 21, verse 1. Anybody can open it for us? Genesis 21, 1. Maybe, ne okay, network. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Genesis 21, verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. Not because, it's not because Sarah said so. And it's not because Sarah knows how to pray. It wasn't because the desire of Sarah, but God visited her because he promised to visit her and he visited her. May the Lord visit us in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, if you notice, creation started as soon as God said. And God said, let there be light. And light came into being. Let there be light. And there was light. Whatever he says, he will do it. 100% of the time. Yes. He's, uh, he's, he's sure banker. So, that's why I'm encouraging us tonight. Key to what he has said concerning you. I'm repeating it. God will visit us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Abraham in Genesis 12, verse 1 to 3. Receive promises from God. God spoke that in blessing, he will bless him. He said he will make him great. He said, he even went for that to say that whoever blesses Abraham will be blessed. Whoever curses him will be cursed. He did not do everything he did. Even up to today, whenever we pray, we always use the name of Abraham to pray. Because he was so blessed, and that was what God said ab about him, and God did exactly what he said. So it didn't matter whatever happened. W because God has spoken, it has to come to manifestation. If you have not seen, brethren, I know this is December 18 or so. Today is 18 or 19. Okay. God must have promised you some things this year, 2023. And you might be wondering, this is December. This, everything is it's like the year is only to an end. I want to encourage you. Hold on. Don't lose hope. His word doesn't fail. Yes. If he has said it, he will do it. Yes. And so what, no matter what is going on in your life right now, continue to keep your faith in God and he will do it. He will yes. not lie. God yes. is not a liar. He's not a human being. Please, just stay there. Don't be wary. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. But that is what God wants me to tell you. Keep your faith there. Very soon, your testimony will come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Exodus 23, verse 26, God said, None, he said, None shall be barren. He said, None shall have miscarriage. Amen. So I decree into our lives. Jesus. Because God has said it, anything that is called barrenness in our life will replace them with fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are going very soon so that we can start our prayers. In Luke 18, verse 1, we need to pray. In Luke 18, verse 1, it says, pray. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, it says, pray. In James 5, 13, it says, pray. In Mark 11, 24, it says, pray. So, which means you have to pray. Your prayer is not that you are reminding God. He knows what he's going to do. The reason why you are praying is because that will make you to feel comfortable within you. That after all, I've said what I want. I've said it. And I know God is not deaf. He's listening to me. I know he will do it. And he will do it for us as we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
In Matthew 11, verse 28, he said, come unto me, those of you that labor, that, will, that you want rest. Jesus Christ did not say he will give rest to everybody. He said he will give rest to those who come to him. That's why he said you should come to him. So because you have come to him tonight, you have decided to come to obey his word. God will give you rest. He will give me rest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every situation in our life that is causing turbulence, in the name of Jesus, God will give us rest round about in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can we rise up on our feet as we start our prayer? God is God. God is no man. God, God is, is God. God. God is no man. He has said it. He has done it. He will do it again. God is God. God is no man. God is God. God is no man. He has said it. He has done it. He will do it again. If you believe, say God is God. God is no man. God is God. God is no man. He has said it. He has done it. He will do it again. He will do it again in the name of Jesus. Amen. In our life, in my life, he will do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We know he has made barren women to be mother of children. Yes. He has done it before. Yes. He will do it again in our midst tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We know he provided where there seems as if there is no provision. He will provide for us tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, our God is not a liar. Whatever he says he will do, he will actually do it. Yes. All we need to do is to wait on him. And that is exactly what we are doing right now. We have decided to, uh, I mean, allow Jesus into our lives. We step out of our comfort zone so to come to his house, to, to meet him. So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't be dismayed. Just stick to him. It shall be well in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Second Timothy 4 verse 18. 2 Timothy 4, 18. Let's read it together. I want to go. And, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. That is the promise of God for us. And we are claiming that. So you are going to mention the name of Jesus Christ three times. Holy Ghost. Let us go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. As you have said in your words. As, as you have, have said in your words. Word, deliver me and my family. Deliver me and my family. From every evil work. From every evil work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From every evil work. From every oh Lord, oh Lord, deliver me, 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 Jeremiah 5 14. Jeremiah 5 14. 1, 2, 3, let's go. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and these people would. And he shall devour them. Amen. These people are your enemies. They are your troubles. They shall be devoured tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come by fire. Come by force. Come by fire. Come by force. Come by fire. Come by force. Fight my battles for me. Hallelujah. Come by fire. Come by force. Come by fire. Come by force. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's mention the name of Jesus three times. Holy Ghost. Let us go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, oh Lord, oh Lord. Lord, as you have said in your word, as, as you have, have said, said in your word, destroy all evil altars, destroy all evil altars that are erected anywhere, that, that are erected, erected anywhere against me and my home, against, against me and my, and my home, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. all evil altars, all, all evil altars, altars. crash by fire, crash by, by fire, fire. crash by, by fire. fire. <laughs> Let us go. No, no one, one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land, and we will fulfill the number, number of your days. Amen. Amen. Say after me, my father. My, my father, father, according to your words, according, according to your words, word, in Exodus 23 26, in Exodus 23 26, replace every barrenness, replace every barrenness in my life, in my life, in my home, in my home, with fruitfulness, with fruitfulness, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, make me, make, make me fulfill, fulfill the number of my days, the number of my days. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I cancel, I cancel every sudden dread, every sudden dread. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. If we have said it, it will, it will come to pass. In the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Father. Jeremiah thirty nineteen. Jeremiah 13, 19. Let's go. Then, then out, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and, and the voice of those who make merry. I, I will multiply them, and they shall not diminish. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Amen. Let's mention the name of Jesus Christ, three times Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. In the name of Jesus. As you have said in your word. As you have said in your word. I shall not be small. I shall not be small. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Enlarge me. To get, let us get an understanding of what this, uh, what we want to read is telling us. You know, Ruth, we know Ruth, we know Naomi. 
she followed Naomi back to the base, and he has to be following those people that are reaping. And you will not believe, except you read the Bible very well, that these people that are reaping, harvesting, they were deliberately, because they were ordered by their boss, Boaz, that you should be dropping something. Like, I want to leave this place. I want to take all my papers. I have about maybe four papers here. I deliberately decide to leave one. Because I know somebody might be coming here that might need it. So they were deliberately leaving some stuff for Ruth to be able to pick. Those are helpers. May your helper deliberately help you in the name of Jesus. Even without you asking, receive your help in the name of Jesus. So they were leaving the thing for her to pick. And she was picking, picking, picking. And, you know, it was able to feed herself and even feed her mother-in-law. To the extent that he got married to that man and he was one of the lineage of Jesus Christ. So, there are some people that you need to meet. And there are some people you need to miss. Because they must not even, you don't even have to come across them. And so I want to pray for us. We will not meet who we are supposed to miss. Amen. And who we are supposed to miss, we will not meet them in the name Amen. of Jesus. You might be thinking, ah, it doesn't matter now we can meet. No, there are some people, they are, the fact that you meet them, they will be the source of problems. They will be the one that they will be telling your helper, oh, don't help her, oh, don't help him. Oh. They will be the one that they will be spoiling you. Daddy used to give examples of that on the pulpit most of the time. That some people will run you down in the presence of people you don't even know. Meanwhile, the, 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 the worst part is that the story they are telling is not the truth story. And that person will not even invite you to hear your own side of the story. And that's why I want to repeat that prayer. Who you are supposed to miss, you will not meet them in the name of God. So, let's read Ruth 2, 15 to 16. Want and, you to let go. And, and when she rose, rose up, up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and do not reproach her. Also, let grain from the bundles fall purposely for her, leaving that she may glean, and do not rebuke her. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I pray for us, by the name that is above every other name, the Lord Almighty, who say, help us our way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before the end of this year, that, Amen. Help, that help that we need will come our way in the name of Jesus. Amen. We, are going to, we are going to open your mouth and say, Father, Father help, me, help me. Help me. Help my children. Help my children. Let, help my family. Help my family. Let us meet our helpers. Let, Let us meet our helpers. helpers. We are never they may be located. We are never they may be located. My helpers, my helpers, we not go to the wrong address. We will not go to, go to the wrong, wrong address. Oh Lord, oh Lord, make my helpers meet me and help me, oh Lord. Let my helpers, helpers meet me and help, and help me, oh Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is not repetition mm. that you want to help her to meet you and help you. you say, we know it's your helper. He can meet you and not render the help. So that's, if you say, if you keep praying, let my friend help, help me to work. Only meet here. Yeah? You can sit together and wine and dine. Some people will even come. They will say, let's go to a restaurant. They will buy food. They will pay for everything. But that is not what I want. I, I, it's not about food. You know? So that's why I said, our helper will meet us and will deliver that help in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's continue. My helpers, my helpers will not be angry with me. Will not, not be angry, angry with me. me. No one will be able to instigate. No one will be able to instigate. My helpers against me. My helpers against me. Everything we are prophesying in the name of Jesus, it will manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Father of the Holy Ghost. So you are going to mention the name of Jesus Christ one time. Holy Ghost, let us go. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, plant godly helpers, plant godly helpers in my ways, in my ways, before the end of this year, before the end of this year, in the name of Jesus, godly helpers, godly helpers.
iPad. Buy me iPads. Come my way. 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 In the name of Jesus. Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16. Because, because he has set, set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. name. Before Amen. which, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will, I will be with him, him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. him. With long life, with with long life I will, I will satisfy, satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. I want us to go back to 91, verse 14. Let's go to verse 14. I want to show us something that is very, very important. And I mentioned it at the beginning of this uh, meeting. I said, look at the last part. I said, because he has known my name. Do you know Jesus? It's very, very important. You have to know him. You have to know him. And key yourself into everything about him. Please. I pray. Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16. Will work for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's mention the name of Jesus Christ three times. Holy Ghost, let us go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, oh Lord, let your promises, let your promises in Psalm 91, in Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16, verse 14 to 16, manifest in my life, manifest in my life, in my home, in my home, in, my home. in every area of my life, in, in every area, area of, of my life. life, in the name of Jesus, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. As I clap my hands, as, as I, I clap, clap my hands, Psalm 91, Psalm 91. Verse 14 to 16. Verse 14 to 16. Manifest. 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 Jeremiah 33 verse 3. God said something there. 33, 33 verse 3. Jeremiah 33 3. 33 verse 3, yes. Call, call, call to me, me, and I, and I will answer, answer you, and show you great and, and mighty things, things which you do not know. Amen. God said we should call on him, he will answer us. And that's exactly what we have been doing. That's what we have started doing since we entered this premises this evening. He said, call on me, and he will answer us. And I pray concerning every prayer that has come out of our mouths this evening. God Almighty will make them come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's mention the name of Jesus Christ three times. Holy Ghost, let us go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, you said, you said in your word, in your word, that I should call unto you, that, that I should call, call unto you, you, and you promise, and, and you, you promise to answer, to answer, answer, and to show me great things, and, and to, to show, show me great things. things. Oh Lord, oh Lord, 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 I have obeyed, I have, I have obeyed. obeyed. Let me receive answers, let, let me receive answers, answers to all my prayers, to all my prayers, prayers. that I have rendered tonight, that, that I have rendered tonight, and the one that I have I will even render very soon. And, and the one that, that I will even render very, very soon. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. As we have said it, it will come to pass in the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Father of the Holy Ghost. I want to decree upon us. In Exodus 3 verse 21. Exodus 3.21, please let's have it on the screen so that everybody will see that it's not, we're not conjuring, we are not manufacturing anything. It's the work of, it's the word of God. Exodus 
21. He says, and I will give these people favor in the sight of Egyptians. Amen. And it shall be when you go, Amen. that you shall not go empty-handed. Amen. And so I decree, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the anointing Jesus. on this mountain, whether the enemies like it or not, we will enter 2024 fully loaded with godly blessings and benefits in the name of God the Father. Amen. I want to repeat that again. That every word that God has said concerning us for this year, 2023, will manifest before the end of the year in the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Father, the Holy Ghost. Whether our enemies or our friends, whether our neighbors, whether they like it or not, we will enter 2024 fully loaded with godly blessings. Amen. With godly benefits. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Father of the Holy Ghost. Jeremiah 30, 17. Jeremiah 37, it says, I will restore you to health. Amen. I heal your wounds. Amen. Declare the Lord. Amen. And so, I want to say, and I want to pray, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the head of our parents in the Lord, by the anointing that is flowing on this mountain, in any way that our health is failing, May the Lord Almighty restore them in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord restore our health in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord restore our health in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord heal us of all our wounds in the name of Jesus. Amen. All our weaknesses are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. All our sicknesses are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. All our diseases are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I also decree and declare and prophesy to the life of everyone that is on the sick bed. That is named with everlasting hopes and national ministries. The situation might look to us as if it's not going to improve. That it's not going to change. I use the name that is above every other name. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. You such individual, either known to us or unknown to us, receive your healing in the name of God the Father. Receive your healing in the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit, get out of that sick bed. In Jesus' name, Father of Psalm 47, verse 1. It says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah is the voice of triumph. Yes. And the Bible is also saying, because some people will be wondering, every time they say clap, 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 where did they even find it from? Psalm 47, verse 1. Let's read it together. Oh, oh clap, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to God with the voice, the voice of, of hallelujah. Amen. So, my brethren, before we leave tonight, we are going to clap our hands seven times. Sound seven thunder hallelujah to the Almighty because He has answered all our prayers. Let us go. Clap your hand. Shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do.